We asked the chat questions. Okay, are sex offender registries a violation of individual rights and objectivity of law? Why don't bank robbers have, uh, have to have their names in a registry for life once they get out of prison? Well, I mean, I've never heard this question before, so let me think about it. And I've never thought about sex registries. I, I mean, I do think there's a difference. And, and the primary difference is the ease by which um, sex offenders can commit their crimes, uh, the horrific nature of the crime, the fact that the crime is often motivated by psychological issues that often are not completely dealt with by the time they were out of prison. Now, let me, let me just be clear. In my view, somebody who commits a violent rape violent rape. Certainly somebody who commits violent rape more than once should be put in jail and the key should be thrown away. Right? I, I mean, it should be maybe not life because you don't want to give the, the rapist an incentive to murder uh, be, because the penalty is, is, is the same. Because I don't, if, if I don't believe in the death penalty, then, then life in prison would be the, the death penalty. But, but it should be a long death. It should be a long sentence. And I'm not necessarily opposed to castration, although, you know, uh, I can be talked in and out of it, so I'm, I'm willing to be, I'm willing to be talked. I, I mean, I find sex offenses so horrific, that, that the idea of violent rape is one of the most horrific crimes there is, right? Um, now, if you are let out, and I don't have a problem with sex registries. I mean, I certainly would want to know if there's somebody who'd been committed, uh, who'd been let out, uh, who was a sex offender, and I was raising a family and had some children, um, I would want to know that. And, and I think, look, when you violate somebody's rights in a violent fashion like that, you lose your rights. You have no rights. Now, it's quite reasonable to say bank robbers should have a registry. Maybe that the banks could access or something. But bank robbers are unlikely to, um, it's, it's not easy for them to repeat offend. And it's, 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 it's not as quite as, what's the word? It doesn't affect the neighborhood, your neighbors, the people you live around quite in the same way. Right? So, you know, I think sex offenders are unique here. Uh, murderers are not let loose. I think, I think um, if somebody is a, um, if somebody beats up people and, and keeps getting released out of jail after beating up people in the neighborhood, I think a registry of people like that makes sense. Again, I, I'd prefer just to throw away the keys or to put them in jail for a very long time. I think violent crime generally, we probably don't, um, the penalty is probably not harsh enough. But no, I don't have any problem of sex. And, and it can be a violation of, of individual rights because you have no rights. You have no rights. Once you commit a violent crime, you have no rights. And the idea is that at that point, I can impose on you a sentence that includes that for the rest of your life you're in a registry.